Hi, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Current blood sugar is 11.5. Had corrections pretty much the whole day. Had basal rate pretty much the whole day. And I'm still sitting around 11. Calibration was done on time. I have 3.75 units of insulin. I'm actually thinking of doing a bolus for dinner a bit earlier. I don't know how we'll do it. But it was weird that my system isn't accepting it. So what did I do? I changed my site. And hopefully that will do it. Current blood sugar time and range is sitting at 52%. That means 48% of the time was above and 0% below. This is not a great number. Now, for those of you who are wondering, above 70 is the number they want. So we are quite a bit below. Average blood sugar is 9.5. Now, if we have bad days of high blood sugars, we try to solve it, correct it, and move on. We don't sort of like, oh, well, I'm high. I might as well just leave it. Nothing's going to go right. Well, you can't do that. You can't just throw in the towel. Today, I want to discuss complications. What causes the complications? What happens if you get complications? Stay tuned. We'll be right back and get started. <music> This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. Complications can pretty well affect anywhere on your body. They can affect your eyes, your gastro system, um, skin. Any sort of place that you get those small little capillaries that carry blood. The higher glucose in the blood, the more chances are that you're going to damage those capillaries and cause problems. The biggest one is your eyes. You get a complication in your eyes, you really could go blind. Nowadays, with getting tighter control, things have worked out so much better. Other things that you need to work on is checking your feet. 
feat for normal people. People don't really look at the soles of their feet. For a diabetic, mm-mm-mm. you need to be checking your feet. I have people that check here because I find it a little hard to see the bottom of my feet. And luckily, I don't have too much of an issue. I had callus on the side of my foot. And I guess it was from walking and how I carried my weight when I was on my feet eight hours a day. And I would roll sometimes. I got a callus build up here. My callus stayed like that for years. And then one day it cracked. And in the crack there was a ulcer which got infected. I was on crutches. I was walking that back then. And I was on crutches till it healed. And then I went into a boot and then I had to have specially designed shoes made for me. And it was was not a fun time. Now, the last time I was in the hospital. I had gone into DKA. Now, some people, just an aside here, some people say that low blood sugars and DKA are a complication, and others say they're more common in type 1s. More common than anyone who takes insulin. But... You need to keep your complications in check. I think right now I am having a problems with my digestive. And we're waiting to get in to see a doctor to figure it out on why I'm having so much problems. They, some days it affects sugars. Other times it doesn't. Today it's playing with it. Or I have a strong feeling. So, as soon as I can get in and see someone, that would be awesome. But we're waiting. And it's a mess here half the time, but we're eventually able to get in. Complications, like I said, needs to be treated ASAP, as soon as you notice, or you've gone to the doctor for something else and they find a complication. Your blood sugar's out of whack for most of your life? Chances are you will develop one of many complications. I'm not going to sit here and list what all the complications are because they're numerous. Another big one besides the eyes is the heart. And we talked about anywhere being serviced by blood and the heart being serviced by blood and glucose. And once you kind of set into a pattern where you're not taking good control of yourself, it is hard to get out of that pattern. Trust me, up till mid-twenties I did not care whatsoever about my diabetes and how to care for my diabetes and I took my insulin went to work I ended up a lot of times in the hospital and they tried to get me regulated and they let me go home it was a little weird some of the times, but it's all good.
keeping your blood sugars within normal ranges is the goal of any diabetic. Keeping them lower than that, you will get some diabetics who believe keeping your blood sugars lower is going to do so much for your diabetes. Then you end up with one of the probably worst complications a type 1 diabetic can have. And that is hypoglycemic unaware. I don't feel lows coming on. I don't feel the sweaty death. I don't get the heartbeat. When I first was diagnosed, I would sometimes get sweaty, but my heartbeat, my mouth would go numb, and I knew I was heading low. There was also some sort of strange feeling. After that, I started losing and gaining some. I went through where I had problems with my vision. I was seeing double vision, which isn't great. You don't want to be doing that. I would do this or do that half the time watching TV because I was seeing double. Didn't bring it to the doctor's attention. Ah, it was just a new thing I had for Lowe's. Then I got the worst one. I knew that I was getting one of these and I haven't had it for a long time is where this hand goes numb and then I get a migraine. The migraine lasts for eight hours. I vomit and then I'm carrying on. So We've been able, with the pump, to stop me having all these super lows. And it was when I dropped super quick. My body just didn't know how to respond to it. And I would get migraine. There are so many things that diabetes plays a role in that we need to constantly be looking and checking things. There's actually very few people that actually on their death certificate says diabetes. It's usually the heart or nerve problems or Oh yeah, nerves. How could I forget nerves? I'm in a chair most of the time. I think my problems in my gut are nerve related. Don't get so melancholy about it. And oh, I don't have to worry about complications. You do. You have to worry about them. The best way you can fight complications is keeping your blood sugar within normal range. Is it a hundred percent guarantee? No. Hey, genetics can play a role too. Heart, if you have heart problems, genetics can play a role. I'm lucky my mother and my father lived long lives. So I'm hoping that I'm able to as well. Keeping things up is not a way to live. You're feeling tired. You're opening yourself up for other complications. Everybody doesn't want to get a complication. And little side story may tie in, it may not. So often when people hear that I'm a diabetic, 
Oh, you're so lucky you can control your weight by taking your insulin or not taking your insulin. I wish I could have something like that. No, lady, you don't. You really want to be the best you can be and keeping your blood sugars in normal range. I go over this every single day and it's to remind you that blood sugars in normal ranges will help you succeed so much more in life. You control diabetes. Don't let diabetes control you. Still don't know who came up with that saying, but it's a good one. Have a great day, and we'll talk later. Bye now. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. <laughs>